Hey everybody, it's Jake with the DIA guys. I got another video for you today. We're working on the 2020 Chevrolet Silverado again. So this is uh, another modification we're making to this truck. It'll be another series of modifications. I'll have a link below, um, and I think I'll put one up here as well, and uh, also at the end of the video, to a playlist with all the modifications we've done to this truck in case you're interested. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install uh, these wheel well guards. So these will go inside the wheel well openings to help to protect the uh, body or the, the bed, inside, underside of the bed against paint chips. And we're also going to install these mud guards to protect the back of the truck from damage from rock chips and mud and things like that. So the tools that we're going to need for this project, we got a quarter inch drive ratchet and we got a T10 um, socket, uh, torque socket that we're going to use. You don't have to have a quarter inch drive ratchet if you've got a quarter uh, a Torx, a T10 Torx uh, wrench or some other way the, that is Torx. Uh, that's, that's just all you need, T10. And then um, we got this painter's tape. So I'll show you how we're gonna use this painter's tape in a little bit. So this is uh, part of installing a film that would protect the body against the mud guards from um, scratching, from uh, movement or wear or anything like that, just to make sure that it scratch the scratch the body. Okay, so the mud guards that we're gonna install, I gotta show them right here. They're really, really nice, really wide. They, we checked them out, they fully cover the tires and then some. So if you were to have some wider tires on the truck, uh, they would cover that as well. Uh, they, seem, they seem to be really good quality. And also the wheel well covers are really good quality as well. Um, so before we get started, uh, if, you, if you like this video, you like uh, uh, vi videos where we do work on trucks or uh, work around the house, things like that, be sure to like and subscribe to the video and I hope this is helpful to you if you're doing some modifications to your Chevrolet Silverado or if you just enjoy watching uh, folks work on vehicles and make modifications to them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step in this process is to clean the wheel wells. So we've already done this and you can see, you know, right inside here, uh, we took the time and uh, cleaned them up really, really good. So, you know, we're gonna cover them up and personally, I want it clean. Uh, I want a nice installation. And also it helps to make sure that there's no rocks or mud or anything like that uh, inside the wheel wells that could affect fitment. So that's the first step. You want to go ahead and go in here, clean your wheel wells out really good to make sure that you have a, um, a good surface uh, for your installation. All right, so we're working on the driver's side. We've got the driver's side mud guard here. And we know that because it says DS. And also it'll, it'll be obvious, which is the driver's side, uh, which is driver's side mud guard. Now the first thing you have to do is to come in here and take these two bolts loose. So those bolts are where you need your T10 socket and go ahead and get those removed so we can fit the mud guard in place and mark off where it's gonna touch the body so we can put this protective film on the body. I'll show that step right now. Okay, so we remove those two bolts down here and we put the mud guard in place. And this is where we're gonna use the tape. So what we did with the tape was basically put, a mark, put it up here at the top to mark where the top edge of the mud guard hits the body. And then this will let us know where the top edge of this film goes. And we're gonna install that film right here so that this edge that rests upon the body won't get scratched. So if you ever remove this guy right here, your, uh, your body will be nice and protected, okay? So that's the next step. We're gonna install that, um, that, that film. Okay, here's the film ready to go on to the the body of the truck. Now, I didn't show everything I, I had to do to get this thing right. What we found out is the film comes in a big square and it's not perforated and cut very well in order to uh, just kind of tear it out of the film and put it on the truck. So there's some lines there, but uh, what I had to do, another tool you're gonna need probably is a pair of scissors. So I cut the, the piece out on the lines. The lines are really difficult to see. So it's a test of patience. This is really, uh, they could really done a, a much better job with this. So I cut it according to the lines and then fit it in here, you know, where it's supposed to go, uh, like this here, and uh, just work with it till I got the shape right so that it will uh, um, protect the body, okay? So now the next step is we're gonna use this spray. We're gonna wet the, the body, we're gonna wet the film, we're gonna put the film on the body, and then we're gonna take a, a rag and we're gonna squeegee it out uh, to remove all the air bubbles and let it dry. Then we're gonna go ahead and install the, the mud guard. All right, so we got our spray bottle and we got our two marks here with our tape. I didn't show putting this 
tape on here, but I put this tape on here as well. We got our film that's cut to, cut to size. So we're gonna wet this film too. So we pull it off, thoroughly wet the film. Okay. Then this long edge, this corner, we're gonna match up to the top and we're gonna let the film come down like this. Now the water, the water allows you to be able to, to work the film. Okay, so we've got the, the film on here and it says to use a sponge or something like that in order to push it down. I'm just using my finger and I got a wet rag right here. So I'm just gonna make sure that all of the air bubbles are out. The edge of the film is against the edge of the fender like this and it's not touching my uh it's right up against my, my my painter's tape but it's not overlapping my painter's tape that would be really bad if it was overlapping the painter's tape and that there's no air bubbles in it as well and then we're just going to let it dry and then once this thing is dry then we can install we can install the the, the fender uh the mud guard so we're going to go on the other side of the truck and we're going to repeat this same process all right, so here we are on the passenger side. I'll remove these two bolts here. I took the mud guard, stuck it up here, stuck it in place. Took my painter's tape, mark the top, mark the side for reference, and you can kind of so, sort of see um, where that film, that protective film is. But I, I put it inside here because you know, I had to cut it out like I described earlier to fit it make sure it fit in there well before I did all this and then using your soapy solution wet the body and then pull the film off of the backing wet the film set it up there and then took and uh, pushed it down with a, a cloth just to work all the bubbles out of it and so we're letting this dry as soon as this dries we're gonna go ahead and um, get this uh, mud guard installed. All right, so we're back on the driver's side here. This is dried fully. It's ready to, the, the uh, mud guard ready to be installed. Now the mud guard has got some uh, double-sided tape adhesive here. And this double-sided tape adhesive is going to adhere to the inside of the fender right here. So the next step we need to do before uh, we install the mud guard is to take some alcohol and we're going to wipe down the surface. We've already washed it really good, but just as another step, we're going to wipe down the surface where we're going to install the fender, uh, the, excuse me, the mud guard, just to make sure that surface is really clean so we get good adhesion. So we're going to go ahead and do that and uh, get this thing installed and I'll just bring you back once it's done. All right, so here's the driver's side mud guard installed. Um, you know, that's obviously what you want to do. Uh, you peel this back end off, that, that adhesive, that adhesive that was up here, peel that back end off, um, line up your two bolts down here, get those in, push it up uh, tight so you get a good, um, good connection with the adhesive, install your bolts down here, and the last step is to take this spring clip and install this spring clip at the top, and then you are done with this side. So mud guards installed. You can see what I'm saying about the, the width. Maybe you can't see or can't see, but it's a, it's a pretty wide mud guard. It sticks well inside the, the fender well and will definitely cover the stock tires on this truck. So we're gonna do it on the passenger side. I'll show you when that's done. All right, so here's the mud guard installed on the passenger side. Same process we went through on the driver's side. We uh, took alcohol, wiped this inside surface. Whoops, there we go. Wiped this inside surface of the metal, the metal now so that the adhesive would stick to uh, the metal. We pulled the adhesive uh, back, the backer off the adhesive. We lined the uh, mud guard up, started our bolts down here, pushed well uh, to get a good seal with the adhesive, tightened up our bolts here and here. And then the last step to finish it off was this clip here, install that clip. And that part of the project is a wrap. And you can see that Actually, it doesn't matter, it's kind of clear. But anyway, if you can see it, there's uh, our cuts ended up really being really good. So it just uh, is inside the line of that, um, the mud guard to protect the paint. So hopefully if they ever have to come off here, the paint won't be damaged. But there's a shot 
on the top side of what it looks like on the install. And then I'll back up, show it there as well. All right, so let's move on to installing the, uh, the wheel well guards. All right, so now we're back on the driver's side. Here's that inner fender panel that we're gonna install <clears throat> in the truck. Now in our case, we don't have one uh, already installed in the truck. The instructions say that if you've got one, um, you would, th right, these holes right here are where it would install at the original one. And the instructions say, you know, if you got an original one to take the T10 socket and remove the bolts that are holding it in. Uh, if you have an original one uh, and your truck's a 2020, I have no idea why you would buy this one. But anyway, that's what the instructions say. If you have one installed from the factory, I, I, my suggestion would be to keep it. Um, but in our case, we didn't, so we got this one. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, fender well cover, we're gonna set it inside the fender well, we're gonna dry fit it, we're gonna make sure that it, um, it fits correctly. Um, the instructions say to make sure that it's tucked behind these uh, mud guards back here, and then it's tucked behind the, uh, the fender lip all the way around here, and then it's tucked behind this front mud guard from the factory here so we're going to do that check the fitment and uh then we'll install it so this thing is really easy because it installs with i think the instructions call them christmas tree fasteners but they're just basically those plastic push pins okay so here's the inner fender liner uh put in place what we found is that these holes against the bed they don't line up kind of the best uh, the holes on the, the, the front and back of the fender seem to line up pretty good. We got it tucked in here, um, but the overall fit, the fit is pretty good, not too bad. Now we did run into an issue here where this uh, bolt was actually keeping us from being able to put the, the fender in place, the fender liner in place. So we removed the bolt. What we're gonna do is two options. You could come in here and cut behind it and remove the material. What we're gonna do is start to put the, uh, the, the bolts uh, or the, the Christmas tree fasteners in place. And then we're just gonna take a drill bit and drill a hole through here. And then we're gonna um, just pass the fastener through there. All right, so here's the fender cover, inner fender cover out of the truck. And what we actually ended up doing, instead of drilling uh, through that fastener I was showing earlier, we decided to go ahead and try to drill a hole before we go in there and make the hole big to make sure the fastener goes in. Um, just because of the way the the hole is made it's going to be really hard to get it uh, to drill it through so anyway what we did was we installed the screw in the hole put the fender cover inside and then kind of move the fender cover around to scratch it around and mark where the hole would be and we got i think it's maybe a quarter inch drill bit a 3 16 drill bit and drill about three holes or so and sort of trying to use a drill bit like an end mill and kind of wallow the hole out so we got something for that to pass through okay so now we're gonna go ahead and put this thing, uh, the fender cover in here and use those Christmas tree fasteners and get it installed. All right, so here we are on the passenger side. We just finished the driver's side. I'll show it in a second, all done. Uh, and the fitment, the dry fitment, the holes on the passenger side seem to line up a lot better than the driver's side, though I found on the driver's side, they weren't really a huge issue with the misalignment and these um, Christmas tree fasteners. You just kind of manhandle it a little bit, move it around, stick it in there, no big deal. But over here in the corner, on the driver's side, we had an issue with this bolt. The cut, the way it was cut, uh, and the material that was left was a lot lower. Um, so we don't have the same issue with needing to drill out um, to make it fit for this bolt. So this is gonna be really easy. So we got it all lined up. We're just gonna go around and move it around and put those fasteners in place, and uh, this project will be a wrap. All right, so here's the project all done. You can see this is the driver's side. See it install what it looks like. Show you what the fit and finish looks like here on the inside front fender. Um, and then come here to the back. What the fit and finish looks like back here. And with the those husky mud flaps installed as well. Now we, we put all these these Christmas tree fasteners in place and uh they're holding okay, I think. Um, I, they just pushed in a little too easy for me 
uh, to be 100% convinced that they're gonna hold the best. So what we're gonna do is check them in a day or so and make sure there's no issues with these things pulling out. Um, you know, because if they are a little small, you can uh, you know get a larger size uh, fastener, Christmas tree fastener, or you could also get the um, the clips. You, you, you could get the factory clips and put them up in there and get those screws and put the screws in place like they were from the factory. That is possible too, so you use Christmas tree fasteners. Uh, but that's what it looks like. I'll move over to the passenger side and show you guys what the passenger side looks like as well. All right, so here's the passenger side installed. I'm sorry if the lighting's not the best. The sun is in a really bad position here. We actually started this video yesterday and uh, thunderstorm came up we had to conclude and start back this morning so anyway kind of showing the fit and finish back here with the mud flap how it all comes together and the fit and finish up here in the front as well how it all comes together okay so that's the project. Thanks everybody for joining me on this video. Hopefully you found it helpful um, and you could get an idea of what these uh, inner fender liners and the mud guards look like on this truck if you want to install them yourself. Uh, overall, this is an incredibly easy project. You know, on a scale of five wrench, one to five wrenches, this is actually, I'd say a half a wrench. It's a really easy, really easy project. So if this was beneficial for you, uh, please like and subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody. See you. Bye.